EU Unity on Russia Sanctions Crumbling The EU's unity after Russia launched its offensive in Ukraine is beginning to crumble, according to German economy minister Robert Habeck. The warning comes ahead of the EU summit, which will discuss further sanctions against Moscow as well as the possibility of an oil embargo. We saw what can happen when Europe stands united after Russia's aggression on Ukraine. Let's hope this trend continues as we approach the summit tomorrow. But it's already crumbling and crumbling again, Habeck said during a press briefing. The EU has struggled to get an agreement on putting an oil embargo on Russia, with several member countries expressing fears that the measure would be disastrous for their economies. Hungary, which imports the majority of its oil from Russia, has been the most vocal opponent of the embargo, equating the possible impact of a complete ban to that of an atomic bomb. Other landlocked countries, such as Czechia and Slovakia, have expressed similar concerns about the embargo. Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, explained why the EU continues to buy Russian oil earlier this week. If we cut off Russian oil completely, immediately, as of today, von der Leyen said in an interview with MSNBC, Russian President Vladimir Putin might be able to take the oil he doesn't sell to the EU to the world market, where prices will rise, and sell it for more, and that would fill his war chests. According to reports, EU officials have attempted to find a compromise solution to the sanctions impasse by kicking off the embargo by prohibiting Russian oil deliveries by sea while exempting pipelines from any prospective limitations. However, the plan appears to have failed, and the EU members will now try to reach an agreement on the limits during a summit scheduled for Monday and Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.